So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover another amazing lab that is build search and recommendation AI applications. So first of all, click on start lab. And if you're new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. So by default, it will show some time estimated time remaining. You need to wait for it and you'll be definitely getting the credentials. So just wait for a few more seconds or the time mentioned as per the you can see here in my case it's showing one minute it may be two four or five depending on your lab resources so just wait till it gets completed once it is completed you can see here the username and passwords are visible so now what you need to do you need to open the console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password check the lab instruction for it now here you can get one kind of formalities like you have to just click on i understand and just click on agree and continue now let's move ahead to the next step now here on the search box you have to type ai applications okay you have to type just ai applications and here wait for few seconds you have to just click on it now we have to create two applications and data stores too and also we have to enable the IAM service so now click on this I agree and then just click on this now wait for the API to fully enable and once it is enabled we'll move forward to the next step of this lab right so finally it is done now the next step is that we have to create an application so how we'll create here in the app section we have to create an app wait for the page to fully load now here you have to just click on this custom search okay now for the name come back to the lab instruction go to task number one from here copy the name carefully for the app name and then we have to enter the company name so you can see here this is the company name copy the company name carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot just paste over here the company name and click on continue now we have to create a data store now many of you may face issue first of all wait for the page to load now from here you have to just click on the website content and for the website url you can see googlecloud.com sorry google cloud.google.com you have to just paste it and remove this slash mark and this http thing okay then click on continue and all things are here now for the data store name copy the name carefully like this you have to copy the name carefully paste over here and click on create now wait for it to get created it will take few seconds to wait for it meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe it and like the video and here it will be loaded now you have to just click on create button now sometimes what happens it gets created automatically but the page is not loaded so what you need to do you can just click on create again so if the data store is successfully created you will get this kind of error no need to worry about it we have already created it i wanted to show because many of you may face this kind of issue now wait for the page to fully load you can see here the data app is ready our app is ready now we have to create another app also but first of all we will enable the google identity basically the permission so basically you have to enable the authentication like this for google identity and then click on save you have to select this now task number one and two has been successfully done now for task number three we have to create another app so how we'll create you can see here first of all check the score for these two tasks it will take few seconds to update the score so you need to wait for it so just wait for the task to get completed yes we got the score now we have to create an unstructured data search app for the task number three so how we'll create we have to create an app like this go to the app section if you are not and now we have to create the symbol finance app so from here just click on the agent force and for the name copy the name carefully that is the symbol finance basically it will be different in your case so always select the name which is present on your lab instruction okay these highlighted things which you are seeing may be different in your case so you have to just follow the steps but the value may be changed now from here we have to select the cloud storage so just select the cloud storage and here you need to pay attention to important things just scroll down and make sure you are in the folder section now browse it and now you have to just click over here and just select this folder okay now you'll see a green checkbox here then you have to click on continue 
Now for the data store name, you have to come back to the lab instruction again and select the name as per the lab instruction, right? You have to select the name correctly. So just copy the name over here and just click on create. It will take some time to get created. Now here is a catch in this lab. You need to understand. First of all, let me complete these steps. I'm going to tell you what is the catch. Here it's finally loaded. Now you have to just click on create and it will be created automatically. Okay. So you can see it is being created. The page will reload itself or if it does not, you can just wait for seconds. Now here it, this task will take at least five to 10 minutes, maximum up to 15 to 20 minutes because this lab, we have to import the documents and it is being imported from the cloud storage. So you need to understand what is the next step of this lab. So just wait for some time and let me show you what you have to do. You have to just click over here. Just click on it. Let me show you. So it's taking some time here. Basically they have mentioned also it will take 15 minutes. So you need to wait. Then you will be able to get the score for this particular task. Okay. So if you try to check the score, you won't be able to get the score because the import is in progress. So you need to wait for it. Okay. I hope you understand. And these are the next step. So here we will do these steps also. When you will click on this, basically the symbol finance or the data store, it will show like this. Okay. It will show like this. Now here the documents, if it is getting imported, it will show in the documents section. And if you want to verify whether the complete documents are uploaded on it, you can just check the activity sections. Okay. Basically you have to just wait for five to 10 minutes and it will be completed. So just wait for a few more minutes. You can just scroll down and see also whether it's working or not. So how you have to scroll, you have to just scroll your mouse. Okay. You can see here it's showing processing. You can click on the activity section to view the status of the files, whether it is uploading or whatever it is doing. So here it is currently import in progress. So you need to wait for it to get completed. As I said, it will take five to 10 minutes. So just wait for it. And after that we'll proceed. You to can also click on slide. the document tab to view the document status too. So I will recommend just wait for it and I will show you when the task will be completed, how it will look like. So just wait here, for it. You can see in the activity it's important progress and you will click on document after 10 to 15 minutes you will see all these documents have been successfully showing check mark that means we are done with this task it will take some time you can wait for more 5 to 10 minutes and then you can just check the score if you have followed the way i have done this lab you will definitely get the score without any issue and now the task number four is very easy you have to just follow the way i am doing you have to just build a recommended recommendation app using ai application you have to again create an app name symbol rep recommendation you have to just click on this app section now come over here and here you have to just click on create an app now click on create an app and just you need to navigate towards the down here at the bottom you can see here recommendation engine you have to just click on create and for the app name go to the lab instruction and copy the app name carefully like this and just you have to paste the app name over here and then click on continue we have to create a data store which will be fulfilled by bigquery so just click on bigquery and cross verify it is showing as yes, structured data okay we have to create a structured data from shopping table so just click on browse you can just paste the table name also if it is not visible directly okay it should be under sharing data set sorry shopping data set you have to just select like this click on select a green check mark will be shown then just click on continue now for the data store name it will be asking data store name so just copy the name from here carefully make sure you are copying it correctly now here just don't make any changes click on continue and just paste the name over here and click on create now you have to just click on create it will take some time okay, so wait here for it's it. getting created so wait for it it will take some time now here you have to just click on this create button okay i hope you understand 
you have to click on this create button and then it will be created now it's in import process you can see the documents are being indexed so what you can do you can come back to the lab instruction and check the score if you get the score well and good if not you need to wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes again so let's see whether we get score or not so by default we got 80 out of 100 so if you are in this stage then if you have scored 80 out of 100 you can just end the lab if you don't want to proceed to the next step if you scored 80 out of 100 you can just end the lab now let me preview the app so here you have to just go to this financial app basically the app which is mentioned as for the lab instruction and here you have to just preview it so for previewing you have to just enter the prompt text here so what text you have to enter it is mentioned here just copy it like this and just hit enter and it will start showing some kind of results so yes it's shown the result now you can just come back to the lab instruction and check the score so even if you have got 90 of 100 you can end the lab because the passing mark is only 80 for this lab and you will get the skill badge without any issue so no need to worry about it but if you want to complete the last step also you can stay in this video now here just go to the configuration tabs okay you can just end the lab if you want to end because we have got 90 out of 100 the last task you have to just activate the cloud shell so even if you have scored as i said earlier 80 or 90 no need to worry you can end the lab if you want because sometimes the last tasks are buggy also so if you don't get the score you can just skip that part okay now here we have to just make a curl command so for that go to the integration integration section okay you have to go to the integration section it is taking some time so wait for it now from here you have to click on the apis and for the search query you have to just go to the lab instruction wait for the page to load you can see the search query you have to paste the search query from the lab now you have to just click on run the cloud shell the query is present on the step basically the last task of this lab now let me show you here here is the query you have to copy it if you don't get the score run the another query also there we have to un run another query also you can see here just click on run to cloud shell and hit enter okay if you hit enter now you got this output now you can check the score so if you got full score you are done with the lab if you score 80 out of 100 then also you are done with the lab you will get the badge so i hope you are enjoying the lab series do like the video and subscribe the channel do share it among your community members and fellow participants thank you guys have a great day ahead